Tom Feng by Cover by Backlund <laughs> Oh, they say it's actually the Mar Marvel Plant Face there Hi guys, today we are going to talk about routing table. Whenever you guys tap show IP route, the routing table will show now. Okay, for this case, I'll give you an example. For this routing table, okay, the network that is 10.45.1.0 is a directly connected network, which is labeled as C. While for the route that is learn while you read, it's actually labeled as R. While for the static route, it's labeled as S. There are two levels of routes in routing table. There are level 1 routes and level 2 routes. Let us start with level 1 routes. Level 1 routes consist of default route, supernet route, and network route. Default route is the address with 0.0.0.0, .0 that is the default route of the network. While for the network route, let me give you an example for the network route. 192.168.1.0 is a class C network. If the subnet mask is 24 bit, followed with the class 2 mask, it is known as network route. But for the supernet route, if the subnet of 192.166.1.0 is less than the class 2 mask 24 bit, then it considered as supernet route. As for the ultimate route, whenever the route includes with a next hop address, and exit interface, that is the ultimate route. Next, we are going to talk about parent and child routes. A parent route is a level 1 route, and for a parent route, it does not contain any next hop IP address or exit interface. For a parent route, it actually is indicate the presence of level 2 routes, which we also call it as child routes. For the subnet of the parent route, it's a level 2 child route. Next, we are going to talk about how the route lookup process conducting. Try to imagine there are five students who get the offer letter by Ministry of Higher Education, but they do not know where they are heading to until they open the offer letter. Let's talk about the first incident. Let's look at this some sort of customized version of routing table. The first student opened the offer letter and he saw his destination is going overseas. So, he looked up in the routing table to know where should he go. He found the best match address, which is overseas, and the route is ultimate route, which stated the KLIA is the exit interface. So, he go through the exit interface, and finally, he take the plane to go out from the router. Let's proceed with the second incident. The second student who opened the offer letter and he realized that he got the offer from the local university UTM. Wow, what a fantastic university! So he found the best match address in routing table and the route is not an ultimate route but it's a parent route. The parent route cannot make a decision. Well, I know it's quite ironic that the parent cannot make the decision but in common sense there are a lot of local university so when you look at the subnet of the parent route which is the child route there are UTM, UM, UUM as a child route in the routing table for example the second student destination is UTM so from the routing table we know that the exit interface is JAW so the student need to exit from there so it's taking bus exit from the Joho. At this point, I personally prefer transmission. Uh, it's just simply because the bus is more comfortable, in my opinion. Oh, okay, okay. I guess let's go to far. Let's come back to network. <laughs> for the third case I would like to ask you guys a question what if there is no match with any of these three universities provided in the subnet of the parent route well if the routing behavior is classless 
the lookup process will continue to supernet route and default route. For example, if you do not get any of the university in the subnet, you will appeal and tell your lookup for the other universities. If let's say there is a match, then the packet is forwarding through the exit interface. Well, for the routing behavior that is class A, the lookup process will be terminated and the packet is dropped. It's just like the example of you are dropped out from the university because you do not get any offer from the university. Basically, that is the end of our presentation. Our team is really working very hard to put on a lot of creativity and innovation in this video. And we hope you like it. And we hope, really hope that uh, this video presentation is really helping you to understand more deeply about what is routing table and how routing table is working and then how the lookup process is going on in the routing table. So, see you guys in the future. Bye.